Hey, what's going on guys? I got a box full of goodies from Brownells the other day and wanted to do a video on the Hornaday Lock and Load Bullet Comparator Kit and Complete Insert Set. I've always wanted one of these, never got around to buying one. Um, I went with the complete set because the basic set doesn't have all your different calibers and I tinker around with the 20 calibers and some other ones that aren't in the basic set so I figured I'll just bite the bullet and get the complete set because it goes the, from 17 caliber the whole way up to 458 so I would say this should have pretty much everything that you may encounter um, so let's open it up and see what we got So this has the the part that clamps onto your caliper. It's got a thumb screw, so you can easily take it off. And then it has a set screw to um, attach the inserts. So you're gonna wanna put this back off the tip so you have full contact, something like that. And tighten it down and let's see here we're gonna go with 22 caliber for this video it comes with the allen wrench I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it tight that way when i tighten it down so and as you can see The overall length once attached is essentially one inch. I'm going to re-zero my calipers to accommodate for it. Close enough for video purposes. Um, so when you're measuring overall length, you can just remember to subtract an inch from your numbers just for documentation purposes or you don't have to either or you'll know what your measurement is but it's not going to be the same overall length that's listed in your reloading books because their overall length is calculating from from base to tip but they say measuring base to tip isn't a great way to do it because there can be variances in the tips of the bullets up to 25 thousandths so this is supposed to be a more accurate way to get consistent see so let's see what we got here they make an anvil base for these as well but i read some mixed reviews on it with it not being completely square so you're not you don't get accurate readings and that can throw it off so I figured this was suitable just to do it off the caliper itself. So we're getting like three point oh eight eight around there. Trying to get a repeatable number. Cause it, miss it. it moves around on the base here too, so. Yeah, 088, 089. Let's measure another one just to see how close these are. Because like I said, I did not have this when I was reloading these 22 Creedmoor bullets. 088, so yeah, I mean, I'm pretty close, but they say this is a much more accurate way to measure your overall length when reloading. I think I'll like it. I don't know for sure yet, obviously, because I'm not actively reloading for anything currently. So time will tell. If I have any issues with it, I'll update it in the comments or description. But for now, I will put a link 
to this product that I picked up from Brown Owls in the description. And if it's something you've never heard of and thinks think it's something that you'll benefit from, I highly recommend picking it up and giving it a go. Because, like I said, depending on the bullet, for for instance, this is my, my Six Creed. And they have lead tips, so you know that's not going to be absolutely consistent between bullets. So, going off of down farther on the bullet would be a much more accurate way to do it because these are going to be a lot more consistent than the tip. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until next time.